Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome you back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo North after a bit of a mini break. Uh, as we dive in, folks, just want to say again really quickly, I apologize for the delay, but if you follow me on Twitter or you've seen the uh, post that I made on the YouTube channel's um, community page, you'll know exactly what was going down, so I don't want to belabor the point, but I do want to thank each and every one of you for being super understanding and super patient uh, with regards to the uh, delay that we've had with Planet Zoo. Uh, sort of back-to-back -back weeks over here. It's been... It's been an intense couple of weeks, um, working on a couple different things, and I just guess I didn't realize it was catching up to me. Uh, with that said, later today I should be actually releasing a pretty hefty video, another one of those kind of history storytelling videos that I had a lot of fun producing. Uh, I'll throw a link to it in the pinned comment down below once the video is actually released, uh, and just thought some of y'all might be interested in checking it out when it does release. Hopefully it'll be out, you know, overnight tonight or, or something like that. Uh, but that's besides the point, that's a whole different story. We'll talk about that some other time. Today, we're going to be talking about Planet Zoo and some great feedback I've seen uh, from all of you with regards to not just the um, the latest enclosure that we made, but also just the situation in general as far as, well, a couple of things are concerned. Uh, as always, folks, like I say countless times, if you're enjoying the series and you want to see it continue, keep leaving those comments, keep leaving those likes, because again, I do read through the comments uh, and I do uh, internalize them all. Uh, in, in the form of feedback, opinions, thoughts, whatever it might be. Man, this really looks kind of pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> like a nice foggy night. Wildest thing, by the way, just thought I'd share. It is snowing in Toronto. Not not right now, but this morning and yesterday. It was snowing. Like proper snow. So, you know, when we, when we joke about how it snows in game in May and June and July... I mean, <laughs> stuff happens, I guess. Anyway, uh, where were we? We were all the way, all the way up over here, uh, over here, working on our, our enclosure. Now, I would love to actually dive right into the time lapse, but unfortunately, this weather is really crummy. And it's not about the time of day, but about the weather itself. So I can't just dive into the time lapse, unfortunately. Um, but, but here's what I'm going to do very quickly. Now, don't mind the solution, please. It is a temporary solution uh, because we're actually going to rework this quite a bit. And uh, what I'm going to do for now is just close this area off just really hastily uh, so we can resume the game and not have to worry about escaped tigers because that would be a problem. And there's a couple other things, a couple of management things that I do need to do, but uh, I want to tackle them really quickly and then dive on into uh, to the time lapse as soon as possible because we've waited long enough for it. So let's go ahead and hit play and uh, see what needs to be taken care of. So immediately habitat cleanliness is a risk. Oh my god. Has the keeper not come here? In like forever? Look at all this poop. Look at all that poop. That's not good. Uh, some stressed animals. Now, on the topic of animals that are stressed. Oh yeah, look, it's full on snowing. Hopefully it'll pass soon and we'll pause as soon as it does. Change the time of day if necessary. And, uh, and take it from there. But uh, a couple things to do. Okay, first of all. Let's go ahead and check crimes here. Everything's good. Check our work zones because it was... Oops. Didn't mean to click that research. It was pointed out that... Um, actually, I guess I can get you to get on the Siberian Tiger. Uh, it was pointed out that some of my work zones have not been properly assigned. Or rather, some of my uh, items have not been assigned to work zones, I suppose is the right way to put it. There we go. Get that fixed right away. Good stuff. Uh, and then apart from that... Many of you were pointing out that in my trade center, in my, yeah, storage, uh, we have quite a few juveniles. Well, not quite a few, just a pair. Uh, the reason for that is because we had pregnant animals during, um, during that crash that happened a uh, couple sessions ago now. And when the game crashes and you have babies about to be born, I guess they automatically get put into your uh, trade center. So, um, thank you. <laughs> also, I just want to mention, this is going... Is it just me or is the frame rate really good? I don't know if they put out a recent update, but like it's not 60. It's not a perfect clean 60 frames per second, but it's a lot more responsive than it has been lately. So that's that's exciting. Uh, actually, I should mention as well very quickly before I get too deep into this, because otherwise I wouldn't be myself. Uh, I want to apologize for the delay in the release of this episode, not just in terms of, you know, the couple of days we missed it by, but also the fact that it's not at, you know, the exact time that I typically release them. Uh, I ended up getting to record this fairly late, unfortunately. Today was still, well, today as in the day I recorded this, was still a bit of a dead day, so to speak, until I was on my feet and uh, 
Now we're back up and running, but that does mean we're a couple hours late. But hey, better late than never, right? <laughs> better late than never? <laughs> Question mark? Oh, man. Zoo Inspector. None of these should cause us any issues, though seeing Wolf Rock does remind me we do have to get another wolf. And this has been brought up to me in the comments. Thank you for the reminders. Um, hang on. Ming Xia. Are you not being moved to the appropriate spot? I thought I... Where are you? Where, where is the appropriate spot? This zoo is so big. And when it's just covered in a blanket of snow, it's even harder to find uh, all of our spots. Uh, let's put you down over there. All right, cool. Um, what was I doing again? Right, I was trying to pick up... And hopefully they're being moved. I was trying to pick up a timber wolf. Let's go ahead and take a look at the... Well, first, let's go ahead and reset here. Oh, it feels so good to be back. I've been missing the zoo. I've been missing all the little bits of it. Like, I know I need to do a huge trade session, and I wanted to do it. So there was a couple things that I've been putting off a little bit, and unfortunately they're going to be put off by another day just because of these recent, you know, the kerfuffle, let's call it. One of those things is getting our, uh, hold on, Timberwolf. H-I-J-K-L-N-P-Q-R-S-T, <laughs> right? How did I scroll past it twice? Uh, one of the things is doing a trade session. Uh, so that'll have to wait until... Next time, I'm hoping, hoping it'll be next time. Uh, the other thing I want to do is get all of our new uh, sponsor boards up and get all of our new staff members named and get all of our, uh, like, get a beauty pass going as well, right? We've been talking about the beauty pass that'll take care of uh, this area for a while. So all that will unfortunately have to be next session. I was hoping to do it this session, but uh, there's a lot of work to be done with the uh, Tigers. Uh, seeing your comments uh, really gave me a lot of ideas with regards to how to improve this. And not just this area, but this entire area. Uh, we're going to try some things, and hopefully it'll work out. I mean, in my head, it would have worked out better. But what I'm thinking is... Let me just explain my, my thinking here. Uh, what I'm thinking is we're going to actually extend the tiger enclosure quite a bit. Um, I don't know how well it would work. Um, but uh, we're going to have... Oh, looks like it's going to be good weather. Well, if it is going to be good weather. And it's kind of foggy, but I think that's good enough. I think that's good enough to, to time lapse in. Yeah. All right. So, you know, what? I'm just quickly going to go over my plans because I might not be able to execute them all during this time lapse, but I would like to see hear, read your thoughts in the comments. Um, so quite a few of you were saying that it'd be nice to have things be a bit more natural. And I wholeheartedly agree. We need to get a bit more of those natural elements going on like we have, you know, down over here and whatnot. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this by a fair bit. And I'm going to make this a massive little like forested park area. Apart from that, I might actually, apart from that, I might actually curve it like this and create an overpass that goes from here across and then loops back in maybe something like that i don't know how to make it look pretty that's my big concern it's again it's an idea that's been brought up a couple times but i just don't know how to make it look beautiful but that way we should be able to get people walking across here getting more really good views of the polar bears and then also arriving over here to get some good views of the tigers uh but yeah so that's what i'm thinking maybe we like curve this around and not only do we have the uh korea inspired section over here but we blend it into a rural russian inspired section because many of you expressed uh, at least some degree of disappointment or another uh in not seeing a russian inspired kind of approach uh and then i got some interesting ideas about rural russian architecture and whatnot so i'm thinking we do kind of like this nice curve it would give the tigers the biggest enclosure and that's just it i know it's going to be a bigger enclosure than they need by like <laughs> like 10 times as big i know it's going to cause bad views but there's a lot of things i want to do and there's a lot of things that we all collectively want to see uh and there's really no way to like do everything without it's always give and take right it's all it's 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 going to cost us something and is that cost going to be with views is that an acceptable cost i, th I think so i think so Anyway, folks, I think it's time for the time lapse. Just want to quickly mention again, uh, just to refresh, just to jog everyone's memories and whatnot. We're diving in. We're finishing off the uh, Siberian Tiger enclosure. Hopefully today, I really want to finish it today. Whether we finish it completely or not, including like the Russia expansion, that might actually take a little bit longer. Uh, I want to at least conclude the uh, like the Korea section of it. And then next, next session, sorry, we're going to be doing our beauty pass over here 
our beauty pass over here as well. And we're also going to get all those sponsor boards and uh, names and stuff done as well as a part of our beauty pass as always. Uh, and then the session after that, we should be getting our Arctic Wolves. I keep wanting to say Arctic Fox or Arctic Wolves. Anyways, enough of me rambling about plans, folks. Let's dive on in to the time lapse. All right, folks. I hope you're excited for this one because I certainly am. I hope it. Uh, I hope it meets your expectations. Well, actually, I hope it exceeds your expectations. But uh, we're gonna make some big changes now. A lot of you had some great feedback um, about the uh, about the enclosure. I'm sorry. When you what. When someone says a lot of you or many of you had some great feedback, it almost sounds like, and others didn't, it's not what I meant. Um, Y'all had some great ideas, y'all had some great feedback. There were some serious issues with the um, with the enclosure as we'd left it in the previous episode. Uh, I find like those are really good tells for when something might be off in terms of like my, uh, I don't know if I want to call it well-being or something. It's like when, when I start making mistakes like that, that should have never been okay by my books it totally felt like a cage it was totally unsafe in the sense that you know a kid could yeah stick their hand through one of the gaps there was so many issues with it and it blows my mind that i didn't actually kind of see them uh while i was making those mistakes anyway hopefully we right those wrongs and go above and beyond as well with the changes to the enclosure today I, again i'm i'm super excited for this stuff folks i i've got uh yeah, I've got some crazy stuff cooking. Now, there are some potential issues. Uh, like I think I already mentioned before the time lapse started, uh, we want to do this massive kind of extension um, and and this giant well, loop, basically. Uh, and it should solve some problems, but it will probably also create some problems. And it's all just a matter of which, uh, which issues we care for more. So... I get into that a bit more later on as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave all that to future party elite. Present party elite is gonna talk about the uh, the time lapse specifically. Um, so yeah, the first order order of business was to fix up the uh, quote unquote fencing that had become a cage. Next order of business is to fix up the actual barriers because what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it. We're gonna do the inverse of what we were kind of discussing, uh, or rather, we're gonna do the inverse of what we had ended up doing, which is something we were already discussing. Many of you voiced your uh, uh, approval of that idea of that alternative idea and i quite like how it looked as well i'm sure it came across in my voice during the previous episode where i was just enamored by the idea of these tigers roaming around inside this shrine courtyard kind of area um but uh but yeah so we're gonna we're, gonna, we're flipping this around to make that work and uh at the same time of course we have to make sure that this exposed walkway area is protected as well so we're gonna be working on that uh, but i do believe the first thing i do is uh Oh yeah, it's all actually part of the same uh, problem solving, I suppose, is I put this glass up. Now many of y'all suggested that I actually do a glass barrier. A uh, problem with a glass barrier is that a glass barrier has uh, resistance 2, like strength 2, if you will, and tigers require a minimum of strength 3. The only things that are strength 3 and above are either, you know, fences, which again, that's just going to be a literal cage at that point, or the... Uh, um concrete which i guess i could have done or the uh wood logs which would feel very out of place here so i went ahead and put in the the modern glass pieces because at least that feels like an intentional uh a bit more of an intentional decision the uh glass pieces i find they kind of disappear into the architecture i mean except for where they're exposed like this obviously but once you're inside it does kind of blend in because the um the the metal parts are so uh, thin they kind of like just kind of disappear in the background which I like uh, but yeah so that's that taken care of and I decide to make these walls kind of like sheer walls in the hopes that it prevents the tigers from uh, climbing them and uh, causing issues <laughs> uh, just trying to minimize their escape routes obviously a little bit of fiddling here and there of course uh, and and uh, just to be one million percent clear uh, I'm going to be coming back and reworking these walls because they are uh messy looking for the word messy is the one i'm going to go with for now and they actually get messier in a bit uh more on that when it actually happens though uh okay so that's the walls taken care of we've got our barriers taken care of we've got our 
uh, you know, viewing areas and glass and all taken care of. Now it's time for this wild expansion. So uh, for now, we're uh, it's temporary. We're, we're, we're probably going to close this off uh, for now as we plan it out. But uh, you'll see what I'm doing is I'm building this uh, uh, garden area to be a fair bit lower than our actual temple, shrine, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm building this little winding path that's going to uh, act as like not just how the animals get down, but when people would use this, you know, this is like how they would get up and down uh, to and from the garden. And uh, then, mm, what's next? Right, adjusting some of their uh, space. So uh, I, I decide to, before I get too involved with my crazy plans, I decide to uh, move around their sleeping areas and whatnot, but you, you saw all that happen, that's no big deal. Anyways, this is this is the big part, <laughs> this is the big part. Um, so. I'm, I'm very happy with this for, for many reasons. For one, uh, I think it is a very interesting shape. Uh, two, I like the use of space. Uh, and three, it builds a loop for us uh, once I'm done with it. Or I like the idea of running alongside tigers. Uh, like it could be a jogging path. I mean, we could even give it a name that fits that bill. Uh, you know, like, I don't know. Tiger Run... Um, I, I, I don't know. There's something clever out there that I'm, I'm just not thinking about right now. But uh, I really like the idea of it. And then, of course, it becomes a part of this loop where I have it connecting in with the uh, the doll sheep. And I might actually split this into two and not just connect to the doll sheep, but also connect to the uh, the Arctic wolves. I keep wanting to say Arctic foxes whenever I say Arctic and I think about a canine. Um, or, or a dog-type animal. Uh, but yeah, anyway, point being... I like this for a lot of reasons. However, it does have many issues. Uh, guests will complain about poor views if the tigers are spending too much time here. Uh, it's a long walk. Guests might not use it. Blah, 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 blah. Do I care? That's the question. Do you care? That's the question. So y'all need to let me know in the comments because I think it's pretty exciting. And you can see over here now just carving a little river that runs through the... Uh, this little you know running space because I want to see the tigers. This is probably my favorite part of it. I want to see the tigers you know running through the space, swimming in this water, uh, and once we get all the vegetation and stuff in, and all the rocks in, and all the visual effects in, I think it's going to look absolutely ridiculous. I think there's a lot of opportunity here for some really beautiful work, and uh, it's very different from anything else in our zoo. It's a lot more natural than what this enclosure used to be. So again, trying to address all of your various concerns, right? One was that uh, it was too small a space, two was the uh, fence look, three is uh, the lack of natural enclosures lately. So I'm hoping to make this a bit of a balance between all the uh, uh, all, all, all the tasks, but uh, you know what they say, right? Jack of all trades, the second half of that is master of none. So are we going too far with this enclosure? Are we trying to do too much with it? Maybe. Is it worth it? I'm still on the fence. Um, I uh, Am I on the fence? I really like the idea of that river run. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Yeah, you have to let me know. Um, but yeah, I, I, I can't wait to, to see the tigers kind of dancing around in that space. Um, which is part of the reason why I think I don't even care what the guests think. If they want an interesting view, they'd go there. Uh, anyway, that's besides the point, though. I realize very quickly that I'm not going to be able to complete that entire section for today because, again, uh, I'm pressed for time. I'm racing against time so that I can release this episode after an already delayed, um, you know, release. So I decided to switch my focus to our little garden area here instead because I'd like to at least get uh, something closer to done. I, I want to make, like I've, I used to do before, like I've done a couple, couple of times since, uh, where I do, like, you know, Take everything to 50%, then flip back, take everything to 80%, then flip back, then take everything to 90 slowly, slowly finish everything. So it's all kind of like done at a similar-ish time. So I figured it'd be time to pull back over here and build uh, some more into our little garden space or whatever you want to call it. Um, This idea evolves, obviously, as you can see, it's happening right now. I wasn't sure exactly what I was doing at first. At first, I was putting down like a little corner with a raised platform where all the trees would go. And then I started thinking about, well, you know, there's a river out there, but what if there was a little pond with, like, lily pads and fish? And it was something that was suggested as well, like uh, lily pads and whatnot. And I was, like, thinking about it. I was, like, okay, how can we how can we get it in here but make it different from all the other times we've put uh, water into a, uh, into a space? And uh, I like our inclusion here. I mean, I hope 
again, as always, I hope you all do too, but it's it feels like um, a very different kind of structure. You can kind of see the work that went into building it if it was a real structure. Um, the shape of it, I find just interesting. In hindsight, maybe I would have liked it to be a more meaningful shape. Uh, but at the time, I was just like looking at what looked aesthetically pleasing. I think this is aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> that silence was me contemplating my uh, <laughs> my taste uh, and if I was back to form or not. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. And, you know, if the tigers go in there and swim, it will make my day. Uh, and of course, we're going to, I mean, yeah, I'm going to finesse the terrain a little bit here and there, but uh, also going to put down some vegetation in a moment's time. Um, and, and, and yeah, it just feels like it's, again, it's very different from the other bodies of water we have in our other enclosures again trying to blend that uh, nature and architectural element and then again just outside we have the full the full nature right the the full embracing of natural uh styles that is yet to be done uh and then also experimenting with some other types of foliage i mean i get this a lot that i use the same trees over and over again but uh, there's a lot of mulling to do about that uh nonetheless folks this is actually um uh, where i'm going to call it a session or not a session, but a time lapse, because, uh, well, there's lots to do in real time. So, back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse, and I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did, because uh, I'm really excited for the future prospects of this area. Um, unfortunately, yes, it's not fully complete, and I do, uh, it does bother me as well. However, uh, it, it really is a decision between um, me releasing an episode today or me not releasing one until this gets done and, and that'll take me a fair bit of time. Uh, I'm going to try and finish this in the next, you know, I think what we'll do is we'll come back to this. This might be one of our long-term projects where we'll like, you know, do a little bit of another, we'll like do, do the beauty passes and, and stuff next session like I was talking about and then we'll add the arctic wolf and then do a little bit of work over here as well and then we'll do another beauty pass where we'll do a little bit of work over here as well because like this I really like the idea of this like river that runs and I, I like the idea of this like joggers path or this runners path or whatever you want to call it like you know running with the tigers or something uh, I like the idea of it and it transports you from the East Asia uh, section again we're using uh, Korea as the transitional uh, aspect or the transitional device, I suppose. And it takes you over here where we're, we're going to go for that, again, that Russian kind of rural aesthetic. And then you'll also transition into our, uh, you know, uh, our, 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 our cornucopia of Arctic inspired cultures. So I, I, I really like it. I, I hope y'all like it. Um, I like that it does, in fact, create a bit of a loop as well, because that is something that we keep talking about, how like loops are very important. Um, and I was wondering how to get this kind of looped in, but I feel like this works pretty well. Again, I could actually, what I could do is I could get a, uh, I could get a path coming out this way, you know, past our uh, Inukshuk there, and then connecting over here or something, rather than going over the polar bears. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's tough, because I like how this looks. The footprint is completely accidental, but I like how this, uh, you know, actually this looks very much like a, uh, a very specific type of footprint, um, that's used during, uh, uh, a, a, a South Asian decorative, uh, footprint. Anyway, I'm just, sorry, I'm getting completely distracted there. Um, where was I? Right. So I don't know if I want to have like a path kind of cutting through. I like this like mass expanse of snow. And if we if we get the snow up over here as well, I think that's going to be really pretty. Uh, but unfortunately, again, we haven't finished this yet, uh, but I am excited to try. And you know what? I mean, OK, I need I need your opinions. We know guests are going to be unhappy about the view of the tigers if we do this uh, the way I'm doing it right now. If we give the tigers free run or free reign, or whatever the term is, of this entire, you know, riverbed, or whatever you want to call it, guests are going to be unhappy. I'm willing to say it's fine, because we've got some really cool shapes and stuff going on over here. We've got, like, the water, you know, splitting up and regrouping. We've got this, I just, I, I'm really excited to see animals, you know, interacting with this, and we're, of course, going to have a waterfall over here. So part of me is just like, you know what, fine, let, let the guests be unhappy. But another part of me is like, it is a zoo at the end of the day. I don't know. Like, my hope is that they'll always come here to eat. 
Like what I can do is I can have feeding stations and water. Well, water is obviously it's a river, uh, but I can have feeding stations and toys over here and feeding stations and toys over here. So that way there are two viewing points. And then in the middle is just a path between them. So that if you want to check out, you know, if you want to go through the loop, you can, you can spot the tigers elsewhere. I don't know. I, I, let me know what y'all think, but I'm kind of leaning towards doing that only because I think I've uh, made the horrible mistake of falling in love with the, the idea over here. Uh, always a or always a terrible terrible situation to, to fall in love with an idea um, but with all that said i'm gonna go ahead and hit play our tigers should be well cooped up now you know locked in we've got glass protecting everything i hope that these walls are sheer enough and tall enough that i don't have to have glass over here as well uh, if i do then that's an easy enough fix i want to figure out what to do for this area as well i didn't want to just put down a bunch of stone walls that might be what we end up doing but i'm leaving it open-ended for now uh, and apart from that, oh, let's go ahead and get the pinata up over here, maybe. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, you know, it's it's this is coming together. It's also not really complete. It's coming together. I really want to figure out what other trees to use because many of you have brought up a couple times now that I keep using the same trees over and over again, and it's making things really repetitive. Uh, we are limited to taiga and temperate zone, and I have to be careful as well about animals, uh, animals, tigers being able to climb over. But I guess there are options. There are lots of options that I could uh, play around with. And we need to make sure that our tigers aren't able to get on top of the, <laughs> the path. As funny as that would be, that would also be absolutely terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I could get some, uh, some of these down. Right? Oh, that's tiny. The other thing that always concerns me is like, do, do these trees make sense for the region that I'm planting them for, you know? Anyway, uh, point being, it's coming together. I have something of a plan that I'm building towards. Uh, I've got, you know, some of these, like, curved shapes that are working out, I think. The idea being that if this was an actual temple, uh, shrine, or whatever, what have you, you know, you'd actually walk down this winding path, uh, you know, enter the, the uh, garden space, come around this way, you know, walk down, you'd be here, you kind of chill by the little, you know, pond type thing or whatever. Uh, so again, the, the intent is to make this feel like a reclaimed piece of, uh, a reclaimed shrine or something. Maybe we'll get some benches down. Nonetheless, let's hit play. Let's see how the animals interact. And not just that, I want to see how some of our recent developments with our, uh, uh, with our pathing and stuff work out as well. Apart from that, I need to check on the wolves again. Uh, when I was checking last, I didn't mention it, but they all had terrible, terrible stats. So I wasn't about to do that, right? I wasn't about to do that. Uh, sorry, not animal welfare. Habitat, please and thank you. Ooh, would you look at that? So this is all considered escape. That's got to be because of the um, the way the habitat's laid out. All right, let's take a quick look at that. Like the uh, the barriers, I mean. Yeah, it's 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 almost certainly because the barrier is just over the edge here. If we fix that over there. And we fix this over here. Hopefully that'll do the trick. And if not, maybe a little bit of nudging required here and there. So I'm not sure why they can escape back over here. Oh, right, of course, I didn't put glass down. Did I? I thought, I, yeah, I did. Oh, but the, uh, right. This is just over, right. I would initially done that intentionally just to, like, force myself in. Uh, which, I guess, seems to have uh, worked. Now I can fix this. All right, cool. Go ahead and unpause. And now we should be good. Though, again, when we have babies, we'll need to keep an eye out for that. All right, buddy, there you are. There they both are. Tenok's about to mate. No, they can escape. Ah, okay, I see. We're still able to get to the wooden structures up there. Yeah, like I'd have to pull the, uh, the pillars in. Can't say I'm surprised. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this, though. So I don't necessarily want to move those pillars because they are very nicely and like placed. Very nicely is a strong use of the word very and nicely, but you know what I mean. Like I could do this. Didn't want to have to. Really didn't want to have to do that. Move more things if necessary. Move you down over here. I 
to get a duplicate. Um, I mean, I can figure this corner out later. Yeah, not the biggest fan of that, if I'm honest. Let's see if I... Alright. Hmm. I want a happy solution. A happy solution. Alright, can we split you? We can indeed. Go ahead and move you like so then. Move you until you're just over the edge there. Okay. We'll sort this out like so for now. Might have to move our uh, stone as well. Mm, don't like that. Okay, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully this is blocking their access. Indeed it is. Almost certainly is, right? Uh, and then we'll go ahead and get you. Uh, I gotta split it. Right. Go, and now we can move you, just nudge you up and over. It's not a fan of how this looks as much as what we had before, right? Just because, partly because of the overlapping lines and stuff. Mm. But you know what, when I was first putting down the glass, I'll be honest, I didn't like it then either. But then I grew to like it during that time lapse because I was like, you know what, actually, it basically disappears into the, uh, into the architecture. So here's hoping the same happens with this. There we go. Okay, okay. Problem becomes that they can still climb these ones, right? That's my guess. They'll still be able to climb these ones. Let's go ahead and see what you're saying. Yep, yep, yep. yep. They're all climbing escapes. Okay, at least that side has been fixed. Let's see, so you can climb out over here. I'm trying to figure out what I want to cut off. I want to cut them off. It is very much because of these uh, climbing platforms. Alright, um, let's go ahead and get rid of these pillars. That'll be the uh, quickest solution. I'll have to find a way to make this more plausible, though I might need to get rid of these pillars as well. Okay. I had a game plan. I had a game plan. I didn't realize that uh, they'd so easily be able to break it. Okay, there there we go. Yes, no, maybe so. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Alright, cool. Uh, so we're, we're gonna smooth some of this terrain out for the sake of convenience. I mean, they shouldn't have to do the winding path. That's, that's for people to meditate with, not for these animals. Let's see if we can't smooth this out a little bit. No, that's even worse. Okay, how about that? Come on now, no. It's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna raise you, there we go. That should do the trick. Hopefully. There we go, excellent. So we're good now, we're good there, we're good down over here as well, yes. Uh, however, they can't get into the water. Which I guess I shouldn't be surprised by. If I lower this, then what happens? Because I thought they'd be able to get in over here, but... Maybe this blocks their path a little bit too much. Just lying down over there. I mean, sure, go for it. There we go. You just have to be a little bit lower. They can come through, they can swim around a little bit. They even have a little private corner over there. Literally a private corner. Cool. Okay, I'm sorry. Lounging kitty cat? I'm not even going to pretend to uh, be able to resist. <sighs> Look at the little beans. <laughs> so cute. Alright, multiple animals are stressed. What's going on here? It's the flamingos. Alright, so one thing that's been suggested a couple times is that I reduce the volumes of the educational speakers. Let's try it. I mean, we're trying everything we can to not lose the um, luster of uh, of this um, enclosure. Oh, hey, they're finally up over here. Like, uh, I, I personally really like the fact that it is a... Um, 
a walkthrough. But if it has to not be, then it won't be. And I'm trying these like last ditch efforts here and there to uh, reduce stress levels if possible. And if 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 it if if this doesn't fly, uh, then I think we're gonna have to go ahead and um, give up on uh, on the walkthrough and, and put down a glass barrier or something. Game's taking a second over here. Don't tell me you crashed game. All right, it looks like the game used the tow beans as a save point. Because why else would my camera be down there? Um, so that means, that means that despite the crash, all of our adjustments here, yes, have been implemented. It's just the flamingo speakers that need adjusting. All right, you know what? That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Silver lining thinking, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta have that. Gotta have those happy thoughts, right? I gotta have those happy thoughts. By the way, to those of you asking, we do have, uh, like, ambient speakers going on that uh, are hopefully helping the uh, flamingos de-stress. Uh, they're, they're stressing out a lot. But like like I was saying before the uh, the crash, if uh, if this doesn't work, I might just call it and, and put down the walls. I mean, unless there are any other, you know, suggestions, I mean, feel free to drop them, obviously. I know some of y'all were suggesting that maybe it's a matter of um, adult population, but that's not it. Social is just fine. I mean, I, it, it's the people. It's the people. Anyway, with that said, before we hit play this time around, let's go ahead and check our wolves. Because I would very much like to get a nice wolf. Oh, that's not too bad. Hmm. Best we've seen in a while. Embry. Ruining my babies. Guess these are, they're not terrible, right? They're not terrible. Let's just get Geralt back in. <laughs> no, not actually going to risk the inbreeding. Oh, and there's our opportunity gone. Just like that. I shouldn't have spent so much time checking. It was so cheap. What are you going to do? It's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Oh, you know what, actually? Zane here. Zane might actually not be terrible. That size potential is really kind of bad. It depends on who we get. Longevity, fertility, and immunity. Oh, but that's Yelitha, though, and Yelitha's very old. What about young... No, that's not young Yelitha either. We have very few young animals. We have no young animals. Fertility here is zero. Emma's got great stats. Oh my god. Emma, wow, okay. These are pretty solid results, actually. We could up the size, go from 58 up to, like, that looks like high 70s, maybe low, low 80s. So you know what? Fine. Let's go ahead and, and get Zane in here. Zane, today's your lucky day. Today's your lucky day. Move you into the central quarantine. And I think we're good to unpause. What's going on here? Go ahead and claim that. Uh, I believe that was everything. Oh no, you know what? We also need a new rattlesnake. We didn't end up getting one last time, did we? I asked that question, but the reality is I have a note. And I know that we don't have a <laughs> rattlesnake. Uh, where are we? Not storage, sorry. Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. Western, there we go. Need a female, right? I mean, genes don't matter all that much, but might as well get the nicer one. Send you in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Also, yeah, it's, it is absolutely cool just roaming around and catching a glimpse of the sponsor boards. <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy about that idea and just having them kind of litter around the park every time we kind of flip around to certain spots to have them have them pop into our vision. Uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play. And again, let's see how, well, let's see if the flamingos de-stress a little bit. Let's see how our new wolf gets along once we actually put him in. And let's see if our guests decide to use this area. I mean, I might need to put down some more bins and stuff. It's like always my first order of business is putting down more bins. Um, yeah, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and put some bins down. Up over here. 
I don't know about Arctic bins. I mean, I guess this is the Arctic section, actually, right? I think that's what part of the reason that drew me to the uh, uh, the Korean aesthetic. Also, is that it's not necessarily what one associates with Arctic, especially because of how the game has them like labeled and stuff. Uh, and I understand why the game labels it that way. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I'm not. This is not a critique or anything like that. Um, but it's something that drew me to the idea of using something a little bit different as well. Uh, just kind of like the unexpected. Let's go ahead and get rid of this water pipe over here. Humans don't need this water pipe. And I'll need to do a little bit of cleanup and stuff over here as well, of course. I mean, there's a little bit of work to do. I just wanted to make sure. It, this was kind of uh, a revisit of this uh, area and a bit of a proof of concept again, just to make sure it made sense and just to make sure people liked the overall idea, especially the massive extension that we're doing, um, you know, back over there. But hopefully, hopefully it's good. Inspector has left. Report ready for viewing. Please tell me. Oh, beautiful. They were, they were not at all aware of what was going on back over here with the tigers. Speaking of which, where are our tigers? I'd love to catch one swimming in this little pond we've made for them. And this should be clean water. Um, I have checked. Yep, yeah, we have filtration going on. This thing's filtering all the water, so that's good. Where are other oh, they are? Well, there's one of them at least. Oh no, there's both of them. Oh man, knock that pinata over. Take that poop. Look at that tree. Smell those flowers. Oh, are you gonna jump? Such a weird jump animation. There's like no middle to that jump animation, you know. Tigers are so beautiful. Yes, yeah, scratch that itch. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Well, that was satisfying. <laughs> You're gonna do another weird jump. You're gonna jump up there? Come on, buddy. I believe in you. No? I know my wolf is ready as well, by the way. Busy looking at these tigers. Alright, looks like... Looks like you're done playing down there. Or are you just standing next to that pit? Alright. And you're just laying down over there, fair enough. I mean, I, I've got them... These, uh... These beddings over here that, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> I've got the bedding over here that lets them sleep in the shade and in the cover if they need to. Uh, but if they'd rather bask in the sun, then they can do that as well, of course. They more than have that option. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, we're expecting offspring for the, uh, for the macaque, so that, that'll be cute. Alright, we're done here. Let me just check over here. Zane is ready to join the pack. Pop you in here. Wolf rock, man. So wild to see it still be so active. And it still brings me such joy when the wolves are up over here. Especially ever since we added our little uh, Inukshuk as well. Really happy with the uh, the various elements. I I'm very happy with the overall theme of our zoo to, to do all these uh, different aesthetics and, and, and stories and whatnot. Hang on a second, did I see? No. Oh. I thought I saw a much bigger load of people getting off at the uh, at the stop here. But I mean, to, to be fair, actually, we're seeing quite a few people dropping the price on the trains while, I mean, yeah, maybe hurts our financial situation. But look at these lines. We're actually getting people coming through. People are actually, they're actually visiting. Oh my God, it is a, it is a Christmas miracle. Folks, look, there's people here. Oh my God, there's actually, there's, there's actual people here. Uh, okay, those might be ghosts, but there's actual people here. They're actually doing stuff. And moment of truth, moment of real truth here. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Getting donations. Beautiful. What animal are you looking at in that direction? That's supposed to be looking at the reindeer. The wrong direction. Okay, now here's the thing. I doubt people are coming through here. Yeah, still nothing, still nothing. It's okay, you know what? It's okay. We'll we'll get them here eventually. We'll get them here eventually. 
What about down over here? Yeah, we got people coming through. I feel like I should cut off the uh, the path back over here for now. Just to make sure no one's wasting their time around this loop and littering and all that kind of stuff. Maybe not a bad, bad idea, actually. Oh, guests are coming up over here as well. Alright, cool. So if guests are coming up over here, hold on a second. Ah... Uh, That's a real bummer, because I like how this looks. But guests can clip right through architecture if it's not barrier. And there's a path that goes through, okay. Damn, okay, I mean, huh. And a bit of a bummer, but we'll be able to make it work, right? As long as the path, no. No, 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 not good. This is not good. Where are you? Where are you in the middle here? Okay. Is actually really not ideal. All right, let's see. Um, gotta fix this now. Frame modification failing. Okay. Got this. We got this. We got this. No big deal. No big deal. How do we? There's a grid there. Push you through. No connection possible there. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> These guys are just like, what have we done? Um, hmm. Not exactly what I was hoping for, I'll be honest. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Go ahead and drop the length right down. That should let us do this, yep. And hopefully we can also do... Well, we might need to come back from the other side. Alright, we're okay, we're okay. We're still okay. It's not over yet. Angle is uh, all sorts of terrible. I'll concern myself with that later, though. Right now, I'm busy concerning myself with this. Come on. Get you out over here. Okay, beautiful. Cool. You know what? That, uh, that, that, that works. I think. The only unfortunate thing is the central area now is, um, We gotta do this thing. Which, I mean, I don't mind how it looks, but I had a, a look in mind, right? I had like a... an aesthetic that I was actually quite happy with. And that's too bad. But it's, it's again, it's not the end of the world. Still happy with the overall look of it. Still happy with the uh, overall experience of it, especially, right? Like, that's... We gotta remember, that's, that's the key. That's our biggest... Uh, our biggest element is the experience of the enclosure both for our animals as well as for our um you know lions and tigers and all that uh so hopefully this works out fine hopefully these people yeah they've teleported out though the original reason i paused was to uh put down donation bins and stuff maybe i should actually get back to doing that <laughs> uh, it would be a good idea to make some money off of here right let's get some donation bins down and let's go ahead and make you... I mean, I guess... Gotta go traditional tiger colors, right? Gotta go those traditional tiger colors. Got one over there right by the entrance. I feel like that's a reasonable spot to put one. Actually, let's go right in the middle there. Drop one down here. And one down over here as well. Over our corners, literally. Right? 
put one down over here. It would fit nicely. Yep, good stuff, good stuff. And then one down over here. Cool. Cool, he says before actually putting it down. And let's drop one down over here, maybe a little bit further. Uneven. Come on. Come on, that's not uneven placement. Fine, put one down over there. And let's bounce it out. Put one down over here. Again, we're going to have to clean this stuff up. Because boy oh boy, is this not a hot mess. A hot mess. I could do that. And this becomes messy. Well, if, if that's messy, then I could always go in and move it by a step, though. Drop the grid size. Nah, it's just off. Okay, okay. Well, then there's the option of, of course, splitting it and then using the other move tool. Lots of little, like, finicky nuancing that I'll have to do over here if I'm ever going to be truly satisfied. I won't be, is, uh, is the reality. I won't be. It's just because, like, the angles of the paths and the angles of the walls. Uh, you, I, I'll, I'll come back in during a time lapse to actually clean up those angles. The proof of concept, though, is uh, is good. It's 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 all working. It's all functioning. I guess that's what matters. That's what should matter most. Uh, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. I don't quite like how this is looking, though. It just it bothers me. Do this kind of a thing. We quote unquote thicken the wall. But does that work? I guess it kind of works. Do that. And we can get another piece back over here. Like that. And then over here. I mean, I wonder if I should thicken it this way too, right? So I do also wonder if I shouldn't just pull this back a touch and see what the damage is on the other side. That's that's fine. There we go. Cool, okay, that's good. Again, good. The word being used rather liberally right now. This, I oh man, I wonder if I can't just like rotate it ever so slightly. Just to line it up with this. So many moving parts. Uh, we'll leave it be for now. We'll leave it be for now. Let's go ahead and get some education boards down. Let's actually build the important parts of the uh, the habitat. Down over here. Let's go ahead and get you focused on the right tiger. So one up there. One up here. One mirroring that on this side. Of course, it turns off. It's because the second one you build isn't technically a duplicate, which I think is absolutely silly, but... It is what it is. Uh, I guess we can put you down over here. Right, and then we can get another one of those down on the other side, of course. Maintaining that balance. There we go. And let's go ahead and get ourselves some education speakers. One down over here. Oh, almost done with this. One. Gotta get one up over here. There we go. And then gotta make sure these central ones are covered too. One there, one over here. And then one back over here. Do you not have power, or are you not assigned? You're not assigned. There we go. I assume you're not assigned either, because why would you be? All right, cool. I believe that is. Yeah, I mean, we might want to put some down in the corners and stuff, but we'll 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 see. We'll see. I just want to see people coming through. It's nice to actually you know press play and actually watch the game in action. All right. I actually want to check on. I don't. Actually, I should probably... Indian rhinos are overcrowded. All right. 
about to say, I think I should probably take a look at, uh, again, I wish this was, I'm red, Dia is the newborn, 58, 50, 83, 100, okay, oh, you know what, Shreya should go. Shreya will just release into the wild. And, uh, we're gonna have Dia here off of Contraceptors because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're not related because this is, uh, Viraj's child. Uh, not the best stats, but. I mean, part of me actually kind of. I mean, she's silver rated. It's not bad. Fertility will go up. Immunity will go up. Longevity is going down for sure. While size is a bit of a variable. So um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what comes of it. It's the Indian Rhino fighting taking care of. Baird's Tapir are fighting now as well. Anak. Get out of here. 50, 58, 67, 50. Yeah, buddy, you don't compete. You don't compete. Away you go. Alright, that's that taken care of. New animals. Zane has joined the pack. Expecting offspring, but we don't have any yet, right? Yeah, do May of next year. That's cute. Alright, looks like we're good for fighting. Protesters have arrived. That was a while ago, I imagine. It looks like we've gone pretty far back now. Alright, cool. Let me just quickly check on the... Um, Titan beetles, they tend to make a mess and uh, get upset at the mess they've made. Which is perfectly fair behavior for an insect, but uh, let's just go check on them. <laughs> make sure I'm not going to have any problems. Uh, let's check on a couple of these guys, actually. Well, actually, most of them should be okay because we did a run recently, right? We did a run recently. Man, they breed so fast. I guess that's what happens when you have two breeding pairs. I don't want to do bachelors, by the way, because then when they die, I have to go and buy new ones. I'd rather, I think I'd rather deal with uh, this. Animals escaped, okay. Zeline, are you on? Well, they should be on uh, contraceptives. Right, and this was another thing that was brought up in the comments. Where are they escaping from? I don't think they're getting out this way. You can see a sliver of a climbing platform over here, I thought I fixed it. Is it the flooring itself? That they're climbing through? Either way, the other option, of course, is to just edit the barrier. And, uh... Pull it out a little bit. If I can. Hmm, right, this is the barrier. And this is not climbable. I'm pretty sure I turned... Yeah, climbing is off. Oh, man. That's actually pretty cool. They're actually using this quite a bit. That's great. I was worried this wasn't going to see much action. Actually, people are coming through as well. Oh, man. People are coming through. <laughs> oh, wow. People are really coming through. And hold on. Did I just see... No. No. I don't know. My eyes deceived me. I was like, did I just see a monkey going across here? All right. That's awesome. That is a bin, not a donation bin. Oh my god, they're making money! That's not bad at all, alright. I was worried about these guys, but uh, seems like there's some money coming through. Play the piano. Love to see the piano get played. Alright, cool, and what about the tigers? How are the tigers looking? Is there a crowd here yet? I mean, this, this lighting is beautiful, that's for sure. No crowds or anything. That's a piñata. They always fool me. I need to fix that gap over there. Or I forget, and then a baby tiger escapes through there or something. Oh, there we go. So we got you there and you there, staring at the meat. Look at that showdown. <laughs> what do you think he's thinking right now, or she? He. What do you think he's thinking right now? Just a stare down with the meat. Um, Alright, folks. 
I actually think this is where we're going to call it a session. Uh, partly because I want to make sure that I can render this out and get this out soon. Because uh, otherwise, well, it's definitely going to be late. I want it to be less late than more late. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, next session, like I said, uh, beauty passes and things like that. And the session after that, we get back to work. We get the Arctic Wolf over here. We have our uh, loop being built. Maybe we pull it over to the Arctic Wolf as well. I don't know. Lots to think about. Lots to think about. I'm excited for this. Uh, this blend of cultural aesthetics and stuff just to see how we transition and and this central kind of more natural area I'm really excited for that uh, And again, I hope you guys are as well If you are or aren't you let me know in the comments down below because as I've always said it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel if You had a good time Let me know leave a like leave a comment if you didn't have a good time. Let me know leave a comment as Always a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for keeping this channel alive and running smoothly. Thank you very much. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.